Jeff, Arizona Hat Homestead. In today's video, let's talk about wiring up that 12 volt pump for my outdoor shower, and more important, wiring it up to a switch, a waterproof switch. Obviously, shower makes sense, so let's get on to that. So, here's the pump that I'm using for my outdoor shower. It's basically the same type of pump that I use in my RV, and the reason why I have it is because I bought it a long time ago when I bought the RV as a backup to the pump I'm going to need in the RV. So if that one ever goes bad, this is my backup, if you will. So just to give you, see how that glare is coming out, some of the numbers that's on here. Gives you plenty of pressure, 12 volts. Now here's how I have it wired. If you notice here, it says fuse 10 amp. So you need at least a 10 amp fuse. So what I did was, right in there is my fuse. And so you have a red and a black wire. So your black wire, I just wired that directly to a battery. So I have it going into my battery casing here. And it's going right to my battery. This is a 12 volt battery. In fact, it's the same type of battery I use on my trolling motor on my boat. So, because these batteries here died on me, I can't get any power out of them. So, then the positive comes out, and instead of the positive going over here directly to this fuse, I actually have the positive going to a switch. So, we're going to go backwards here. We're going to go from here to the switch. So, from the water pump, goes through this fuse, and then into... A line that I use some of this, um, uh, some of this wire cover stuff and kind of plastic. Then I went over it with a, some uh, electrical tape just to help hold it in place. That, I wanted to do that for a couple of reasons. One, rodents like to chew on wire, so that will help keep them from chewing on the wire. And two, it's exposed to the sun so I don't want the sun to, to dry out and crack and split that wire as well and trust me I've seen it happen out here in Arizona so anyhow so let's follow this wire so I have the wire coming now if you notice there's two wires there that's because one of them goes to the batteries and the other one goes to the pump so we got both wires coming around following I just use some clamps to kind of help hold it up because I have water coming because I have water that's going to be down here I wanted this above the water and I have it coming now there should be very little water on this side so I went ahead and just put it underneath my tin here then I have it strapped to this 2x4 here so again it keeps it up off the floor running up through here and then into my switch so now let's get into that switch to see what it looks like so here we have the switch and this switch as you can tell is a standard 120 15 amp type switch but I haven't wired it for 12 volts now here's your difference when you're wiring this up in a switch you're going to have your black and your white are going to be on each one of these connectors and then your your ground which is normally your bare or your green wire goes up in here because I'm wiring this 12 volts I don't need to use the black I don't have a ground because it should be grounded in some other way so in 12 volt applications you're running your red up through one of the one of the um, the parts of the switch it really doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom so I don't remember which one is what but you put it in one and then you do it the other basically a good way to look at a switch for DC is your positive line you're just putting a cut in your positive line and when you put a cut in your positive line that's where the switch goes that's all there is to a switch on the DC. When you're wiring a switch on 120 volts, it's different because you have to include all three wires. But in DC, in 12 volt applications, 
you're only going to need the red wire, the positive wire. Because the black is considered your negative at DC and it goes to your negative on your battery or to your ground. It could be either one. Because normally you're going to ground your batteries. And your ground on your batteries, just like on your car, is from the negative. So that's how I have the switch wired. Now on this, to waterproof it, there was this device here that has this waterproof gasket on it and then this red piece in here as you flip it up and down will flip the switch and it doesn't really look like much but let me tell you it works beautifully I'm impressed with it so when you're using a waterproof switch this is a great way to waterproof a standard switch Thank you for watching my video today, and I appreciate you watching it all the way through there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Every little bit helps support my channel. My name is Jeff, and you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead. <music>